support and training manager for Smart Vim. Okay, this is Vim Trek. This is Jim. Hi, Jim. Okay. What here is the beginning of a project. What we're going to do is we have a need to create a design review of this project somewhere at the end of SD. So what we're going to do is go from Revit and take it into the VimTrek environment. Now, the first thing I want to point out is the learning curve is minimal. We're talking about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, then you've mastered the program. So from here, and we're going to do this in real time, I'm going to export this out to VimTrek. Now, this process, as you'll see, takes about 75 to 80 seconds. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and steal the file name that's already here. That's right. Yeah, I mean, my. And you'll see the export progress come up. Okay, so your software, you provide an API that goes straight into Revit Architecture 2012. Yes, 2011 and 2012. We okay. support both those versions. Okay, how much How much and is the product? Three, and also, you know, Revit Structure, MEP, and Revit Architecture. So all three versions of Revit in 2012 and 2011. Okay, okay. How, what's this retailer? The uh, initial price point is 3500 And we're selling it through the bar channel, through the Autodesk reseller channel. That's where you purchase it. The first seat, if you will, is a combination. It's a bundle. It is Vimtrek plus Smart Vim's Access Suite, which okay. is a Revit content management system on the cloud. Okay, brilliant. And then after that, you can either buy more seats of Vimtrek or more seats of Access. Yeah. We have a pricing scheme that satisfies your needs. And it can be deployed across the network between offices. It's actually globally, globally accessible, which is great. That's one of the big benefits of having cloud-based information. Yeah, okay. So I can secure it, whatever my uh, web web browser yes. parameters are. Yes, right? and okay. it's log-in it's log controlled. You, you can assign role-based uh, permissions to get access to it. We have administrator, managers, and end users. So it's totally a secure location where it's possible in the cloud. Okay. So that's completed. So we've invested that amount of time. Right. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Now, this is the environment we just created. Okay. And in producer, some of the changes that you can make, let me go ahead and navigate around here. You've got your basic naming, basic gaming navigation controls. Saving. So we're just going to take a look around the atrium. Now all this lighting and the materials are come directly out of Revit, right? Absolutely. We cannot do any dynamic changes to the materials in this release, but through the beta testers that have been using the program, that's a common request, so we are looking into giving them that capability. Okay. I just adjusted the sensitivity on my speed of my mouse and so forth. It's all right. There we go. Uh, part of the process, when you saw it exporting, part of what takes place in that 75 seconds is we have specialized plants that are developed by Vimtrek that are fully optimized for this real-time gaming environment. Okay. You can see a higher level of detail than your standard Revit plant. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you, they, they, they get auto-replaced, do they? Automatically. These yeah. are optimized so that you can actually navigate in this environment in real time, and it does not have an adverse effect on your display graphics. Okay. <laughs> does it take over the save views at all? Excuse me? Does it take over the save views? No. Okay. Does not. Okay. Um, the model can be generated. It can be exported from any of the 3D views of Revit except camera views. Okay. Because it doesn't read that perspective. But any no. 3D view, any visibility changes you make in those views will affect what is actually exported in the scene. So you have total control over what's exported out. All right. That's good. Now from here, we'll go ahead and rotate the view around. Several things that have already taken place is a uh, terrain has been added to extend it to the horizon. And we can adjust some of the other environmental settings, such as the sun. One great feature is that if you take the time inside of Revit to specify the location of the project with yeah. latitude and longitude, yeah, yeah. that comes over automatically. As per, so as per where you're based in the Earth in real time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. 
Center, and we can override that with the sign of tape, time of day. Another part of the gaming technology that we borrowed is that we're using the whole skybox technology that surrounds the scene. Yeah. We have some predefined images that okay. can be used. Yeah. Environments. Just to demonstrate how fast this updates. Just like that. Okay. Real time. That's our max Now from here, in producer where we produce the environmental settings, the next step is to generate the file where you actually conduct the design review. The next step yeah. is creating a file that's actually shared. And we'll do okay. this in real time also. Okay. Keep in mind the original file was 60, 60 megabyte in file size. Yeah. So we'll go file, export. The great thing here is we can support the viewer file being on a PC platform, a Mac, or a web browser. Yeah. I'll do this for a PC. Okay. And if you went for Mac, would it go on my iPad? I don't think the HTML format's quite ready no. for I or oh, no, I've had okay. yet, but within the next two months, we yeah. have a developer's target to do that. Okay. <laughs> that has become a more frequent request. So I'm going to, once again, steal the file name that's available. Once again, this is being processed in real time. Short learning curve. We've already looked at 70% of what the program does in less than 10 minutes. It's no okay. more complicated than that. This also actually opens up to the file that we just generated. Extremely easy. Yeah. I'm going to close the producer file so you can clearly see that there's two different versions. Yeah, okay. So we're going to open up in Vimtrek Viewer, which is a free download. You go to Vimtrek.com, yeah. download the viewer. If you're doing this in a browser, Unity 3D plugin is the only thing that's required. And that usually so I can distribute free. this as widely as I want. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, this is the environment where you actually can conduct design review and I'll show you a couple of other features that are available to support that process okay. once this gets loaded in. Very abbreviated toolbar, simple yeah. interface. You have the fly mode, the gravity mode, simulates you know working in a gaming environment. You have the ability to open other files and we have a, a BIM notes capability which is what you use to annotate the changes that you'd like to have made. So from here we're going to go ahead and navigate back into the building. You'll notice that the graphics is a better quality and fewer than it was in producer. You get the navigation is a lot smoother. Once again, basic gaming technology, you're using your mouse to control the direction you're viewing, keyboard to control the direction of movement. surveys to where I know I need to create some markets. Now, going into the stairwell. And so are you real-time walking through the Revit model? Yes. Well, this is a BIM model generated from the Revit model, which took about 75 seconds to get here. Now, at this point, we've discovered there is an issue with the model. Okay. So we need to mark that up to get that communicated back to the architect. So what I'm going to do is place a BIM node to indicate that. Now to identify where the, what it's relative to, I'm placing a BIM node marker. The marker's been applied there. I can now add the note here. Jim, just to be specific then, so the advantage you've got is in your free viewer, you can redline mark up, which in Navisworks Freedom you cannot. Red line That's marker. Yes. There you are. That's your differentiating. Plus the more realistic look of the environment. Yeah. So this has been completed. I'm going to apply it. I'm going to go to another area to do another markup because there's another capability this markup technology gives you in this environment that to see it you have to have at least two markers. So this is another area, office space. Now, in addition to the graphics engine and the capability to generate this from your Revit project. What sets us apart is that we also provide the information from the Revit model. No other gaming engine is doing that right now. It's coming here, it's able to translate from Revit to a gaming environment. We're bringing not only the Revit information, but if the family is from the Smart Bin library, we have extended information available for those families. So much higher degree of intelligence in this model review. Now, we quickly place one more marker. some chairs added here. It's really, well, yeah, it's really it's totally it's totally 
lot of that. Now imagine there are 30 different markers in this file. You would save these markers out in a very small file format, even valid back to the architect, he loads it in. So how does he track where all these markers are that you have placed? Okay. Well, he simply opens up the interface, and he looks at this list, which can be as long as it, you know, many yeah. markers you have. All you have to do, and this is to be very powerful, you pick on the line item, it goes to the view where the marker was placed. Okay. You don't have to track it. You can actually use this to save views in, the, in your model. No, that's the presentation that's process. Process. How do you send that information out, back out in the process? You then? hit save. Yep. Give it a file name. Okay. Then email that file back to the building owner. He opens up his version of the view because he, had he to, created he had to download it. the viewer. He had to download the viewer to. Well, he generated it. Okay. Like the architect would have generated this. You, the building owner or the GC or the engineer, just got through reviewing it and placing the markers in it. Once you're completed, you hit the save button. You get a little MRS file. You email that back because it's going to be like 10 kilobytes in file size. So the architect would read the email, select the file, load it in, and then the first time he selects one of these, he actually gets to zoom to the location and sees the uh, note. That's nice. So everybody's got the free viewer, so there's no cost for that. Yeah. It's insanely simple to use, as you saw, as an executable file. So even general contractors or tradesmen or building owners who have never been used any of the high-tech programs, it's pick and click. And it's free. It's brilliant. Jim, thank you. Thank you. That's great.